As of this past Monday, students, teachers, and other school employees have the option of ditching their face masks during the school day after changes in regulations from the CDC and the Massachusetts Department of Health. I went to Pine Glen Elementary School to see how the first week of optional masking was going and started by asking what challenges the mask posed in the first place that are now alleviated for those who choose to go without. From a first grade teacher perspective, it was really hard to hear them when they were participating in class, trying to read aloud to me. Um, we do a lot of phonics skills and it was just hard to see their mouths and especially my soft spoken kiddos, it was hard to hear them in general. <laughs> Um, for us especially, the challenges were had to do with singing and being able to play instruments, certain types of wind instruments and things with while masked. It was really, really difficult. Singing in masks is also really uh, difficult. Every time you breathe, you like kind of suck in the mask with you, and so that makes it really difficult as well. So transitioning to no mask certainly makes um, a lot of music making a lot simpler, <laughs> a lot more user friendly, especially for young children who are still learning good skills. Wearing a mask is an option for everyone and the school is putting an emphasis on ensuring everyone respects the decisions others make. A task made easy, they say, because that was the nature of the school's environment already. I have had some I have a pretty pretty amazing class this year. They've been really respectful of both decisions, whether kids are masking or unmasking. We just have a great community here at Pine Glen, and whether students are in mass or not in mass, we just clearly make it about the joy of learning and having fun and engaging instruction. And I'm just so happy and proud of our students and how they've been respectful of one another, whether they've chosen to wear a mask or not wear a mask. We make a point of that every day at Pine Glen to respect our differences and to celebrate our strengths and be a real community and care about one another. So it wasn't that much of a stretch and I think that's why it was a pretty seamless transition. Whether they wear a mask or not, the teacher said that they've noticed students' reaction to the incremental change back to normalcy. Yes, definitely. I have noticed a change. The kids are definitely happy. They're, I mean, they're always smiling. They were happy to be there, but um, it was like a sense of um, just a sense of normalcy. They were excited to be there without a mask. And um, since I see every kid in the building, uh, a lot of them I haven't ever seen without a mask. So they would come in the room and it's like, oh, it, it's like meeting them for the first time um, again and they would look at me and go I don't think I ever saw you without a mask either and it's like no so it's almost in a way like starting that relationship um, over and uh, taking it in a new direction because we're all kind of back to normal. We've seen both um, some kids are more comfortable wearing them still some have them off um, but I definitely see it I'm able to to understand them a little bit better. I think their friends are able to understand them a little bit better. Um, a couple of them wrote in journals about how excited they were to be able to see their friends' faces, um, see their friends' smiles, and um, one of them even said they were finally excited to breathe again. So mm -hmm. I think for the most part, they're pretty excited about having the option. Finally, when the students first came back to class after remote learning, Mr. Lyons told me that he greeted them every morning by smiling with his eyes. I asked if he was happy to go back to the traditional way of doing things. It is nice to be sp smile with my mouth again. Um, I think uh, one of the things that has been great is just uh, when students arrive in the morning and I greet them on the bus um, to see their smiles every day. but. I can also, even when they were wearing masks, I could see them smile with their eyes, which was fantastic. And um, I'm just more than anything so incredibly proud of not just the students for their resiliency, but also the teachers. Their ability to adapt these past couple of years has just been remarkable. From Pine Glen Elementary School, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.